Hey everyone, a few people mess messaged me and asked me if I could show them how do I export meshes from Houdini and how I, how do I import them into the game engine. So this will be like extremely simple tutorial. I just want to show you uh, how I do that in case you running into some issues. So I'm just going to create new geometry node in Houdini. I'm going to call it plane. Dive inside. In here, I'm just going to press tab, bring grid. Okay, uh, bear in mind, I also I am also using the new uh, Houdini version, which is 19. However, I believe that you will have exactly the same notes. So the next one will be gradient. And this is going to bring the lapse uh, color gradient node. And in here, I'm going to change this because this is new, I think. I'm going to change this to maybe uh, radial. Move this a little bit so we can get a lot more this uh, dark area uh, in the middle. Uh, what other options do we actually have? We have noise. Uh, right, so this is like a linear gradient and I'm actually going to use a gradient uh, as a radio. Okay, and next thing is transform. Because of the game engine uses a much larger scale than Houdini, I'm just going to use transform and add 50 into uniform scale. Uh, I'm going to hover over this screen and press space and F. It's going to zoom out to frame the geometry. And while having this transform selected, I'm just going to go back and in here, I'm going to select this. Uh, click file, export and film box FBX. So I'm exporting this into my desktop to delete folder. Obviously, I just want to get rid of that folder afterwards. And these are my settings I'm using for the export. OK, so feel free. I'm up those are the default settings, so feel free to copy them if you have a different ones. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to um, click export now. So I'm going to show you the settings for the Unreal Engine first, and then I'm going to show you the settings for the um, Unity. Right, so you right click anywhere in your content browser and select import. This window is going to um, show on your uh, viewport. And what I usually do in case I got some weird settings, I'm just going to reset to default. And as you can see, the vertex color import options. Uh, is set to ignore so first thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set this to replace because I actually want to import my vertex color settings and that's really it I don't do anything else that's it if you really want to you might just want to go here and uh, do not create materials because you probably want to import um, create your own uh, you might don't want to import textures in case your geometry from Houdini or other application got some materials applied to it and to be honest, that's all the settings I'm using. Sometimes I just disable the generate uh, light map UVs as well. But in this case, I'm just going to click import all. It's going to bring up my grid. And if I'm going to drag it into the scene, you can see it's actually got like a correct scale. That's why we set the 50 uh, value for the uniform scale in Houdini. OK, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. I'm going to double click on the grid. It's going to bring this window. I'm just going to zoom out and I want to see if my vertex color has been important. So I'm just going to click here, vertex color. And as you can see, we've got our vertex colors in the in the engine now. So we can use it uh, with our materials. OK, right. So now let's check uh, the Unity settings. So this is the location of my grid in the uh, um, Window Explorer, I'm just, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, hold it and drag it into the content browser in Unity. It appears here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to navigate to materials, set it to none. I'm going to set animation to none as well, because I am not importing any animation and the grid, uh, sorry, the rig as well. So everything is set to none here. And in here, those are like my default settings. Scale factor one. Um, what else? The mesh compression. I usually set this, set this to off in case it just doing something crazy with the geometry. 
And you can just copy those settings if you want. Okay, but I don't think there's anything crazy. I wonder if there's a oh, reset. There is reset. Okay, so I'm just going to reset to uh, default, I guess. Uh, I'm going to set this to none again. Import animation, none. And the materials, none as well. Right, so in here, mesh compression off, optimize. Uh, mesh, we can have it on everything. It doesn't cause any issues. Weld vertices. Uh, I'm just gonna get this one off. And that's really it, to be honest. Let's just drag it into the um, viewport. And that's it. I don't think there's a way that we could actually preview the vertices. So you probably just wanna go into the material editor and maybe multiply the color with your vertex color and then you'll be able to see your vertices painted. Because um, this is the same grid that we've imported into Unreal Engine. So we've got this uh, black vertex color in the middle. But if you know if there's actually a way to preview this the same way as we previewed it in Unreal Engine, please do let me know. Because I was just trying to get this view to work in the same way as in Unreal Engine, but I was not able to uh, get the preview of the vertex color. Right, anyway, those are my settings. Uh, again, very simple tutorial. I hope it helps you, but uh, yeah, it's just one of the simplest uh, tutorials I've ever done, to be honest. So I hope it's going to help you. And if you have any further requests, please let me know. Thanks.